Let's talk about the Nikon's 28-2.8 AIS lens. There are already quite a few helpful YouTube reviews that explains the technical specification of this lens, so that's something I will not cover in this video. Instead I will focus on my personal experience working with this lens in my everyday work as an interior photographer and show you some examples of the outcome. But first a brief note about my background. I have been working as a professional interior photographer for the last 15 years or so and there has always been a camera of sorts in my hands since the mid 70s. Even before the introduction of digital cameras, some great lenses were produced, like this 28mm lens introduced in 1981. This version superseded Nikon's 28 2.8 AI that was in production from 1974. There is usually a necessity for trying to capture room or space in one picture, hence the use of wide-angle lenses. This comes with a caveat though, a lot of us has experienced the difference between real-life situation when checking into a hotel room versus the image on the hotel's website. A lot of times very wide-angle lenses are used, which distorts reality. The room or space seems larger than it is in real life. Sometimes you don't have a choice, but I try to avoid overusing these lenses. For a long time I used an excellent and sharp zoom lens, Nikon's 14-24 2.8 although for me it lacks a bit personality. I still have it, and I use it from time to time, when needs must, but these days I'm looking for lenses that can bring something else than just pure sharpness. Which brings me back to the original reason why I'm making this video. In my search for lenses that can deliver an analog feel to an image, I have rediscovered this 28 2.8 AIS. It's small, light, and overall an excellent lens in my view. 